Hey guys, it's Tilly and I bought a few books this month again. Probably a few too many, especially considering that I've only read two books this month, but I'm also a very happy person. Most of these books that are in this book haul I bought on one shop, so I will tell you guys about those ones first because you guys will see um, how I have a problem that I could buy all these books on one trip. The first one I bought is the illustrated edition of A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is my third copy of this book now, but I had my eye on it for a while, and although it costs me like a kidney, it is absolutely stunning, and the illustrations inside of it are like really gorgeous too, like just a quick flick through. So you get some that are like full colour illustrations, and then you have a lot that are just like the black and white illustrations, but either way, it is so gorgeous, and like it has the maps in the front, and I am so glad that I bought it, and I just have to make shelf space for it now. Secondly, um, this next one that I got was an absolute bargain. Like, I had to buy it, and no one can yell at me for it, because like I said, it was an absolute bargain. And that is the entire A Series of Unfortunate Events series. This is the, like, old style covers, but with decal pages and everything great about them. And so it's all 13 books, and I got it for 79 Australian dollars, and that is, like, the cheapest thing in the entire world. I had to buy it. Of course I did. I have only actually ever read the first book in this, so I'm going to absolutely binge read these now because I have to. Like, everyone is always talking about how amazing they are. Plus, it's going to be a TV series on Netflix soon. Like, the first trailer was released and it looks like it's going to be amazing. This next one is another book that I have had my eye on for a while. It used to sit behind the counter at Dimmix and I would look at it longingly every time I bought something. And then I thought, hey, it's 20% off for me. Screw it, I'm gonna buy it. And that is the Disney Villains Delightfully Evil book. So this is like a flick through of all the designs and everything that came together to create all the evil characters in this. So like from every Disney film, old and new. And you know, you kind of have to love it. I love my villains, so of course I had to buy this too. And it is so beautiful. And I can't wait to go through it all in such detail and then place it somewhere on my shelf. And with all the new hype of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, they have brought out so many books that are themed like them and I have to try really hard not to buy them all. And I just did not try hard enough when it came to the case of Beasts because just the aesthetic look of this beautiful book is absolutely amazing. And I just, oh, I had to, especially because it's like one of those like, interactive books. So you've got like things that you can pull out and stuff like that like through here. So you've got like things that you can pull out and look at on here. Um, you guys have like these, where are they? You guys have like these little pockets here where you can pull out maps and information as well. And basically, <laughs> I had to buy it. Can you just, just get back in? And I basically had to buy it. I mean, how could you walk away from this beauty? And also because I spent so much money there, I got a free Harry Potter Dimmicks tote bag. Which has also conveniently got all the other books that I bought. There's a lot of Fantastic Beasts and Might Have Find the books coming out, but everyone obviously has to get the screenplay. So I did, even though I know that I got this as a Christmas present from somebody in my family. Oops. I got A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. This is the third and I'm pretty sure final book in the series. So you've got the first one which is A Thousand Pieces of You and then the second one which is Ten Thousand Skies Above You. And these covers are honestly like so gorgeous. I just keep on falling in love with them. Next up I bought Air to the Sky by Amanda Sun. I've heard a few things about this book, although I must admit that the reason I picked it up was because of this cover. It's like that beautiful simplicity that you fall in love with basically. Could be bad, could be good, I guess we will find out. I'm actually kind of ashamed that I didn't already own this next book and that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab and I love her other books so I don't know why I haven't had it yet and I've heard amazing things about it too so I didn't need an excuse. I just I just bought it. I, I needed it in my life. Breathing Underwater by Sophie Hardcastle. And once again, I've heard so many good things about this book. So of course, when I saw it, I was like, I'll get it. I don't need money anyway, right? So this is a contemporary novel. And like I said, I've heard actually really good things about it. So fingers crossed, it will be good. And lastly, from this book haul inside of my book haul, I got Eerie by Maria Davana Heedley and 
<sighs> wow. I, looking at this, just realized that this is the second book to the Magonia series. I... <laughs> I picked this up because I liked the cover of it without even knowing that it was the second in the series. Like I own Magonia, I just haven't read it and now I don't want to read about the back or the blurb because it will give it away. But hey, good cover, beautiful, stunning. The rest of these books I've either bought or received and so I'm just gonna tell you guys about them. This one I got was part of a Kickstarter campaign to get it into an actual book and that is Crows on a Heartstring created by Aubrey Meeks. Um, so this book has actually come together and it is stunning. I love it and I can't wait to read it. It's an anthology on doomed love stories created by various different authors with amazing artwork all throughout it as well and I recommend that you guys check it out and hopefully buy it and love it. Two. This next one I got from the Muse Monthly Box, which is an amazing subscription box. It is The Mortifications by Derek Palacio, and I will leave a link to my unboxing video of this if you guys want to know more about it, and I encourage you all to look into it and look into Muse Monthly as well. Two more books to go, we are almost there, and these are two really good books as well. So both of these ones I've also got from subscription boxes. The first one is from the YA Chronicles, which is an Australian-based subscription box, and they are amazing. I love them so much, and I will just leave all the links links below if you guys want to check them out. Um, so the book that I received in that box was Heartless by Marissa Meyer and everybody's going absolutely crazy for this book and it is probably well deserved. I mean Marissa Meyer is basically a genius and a god all rolled into one so I can tell now this story is going to be really really good. And the last book that I have is Nemesis by Anna Banks. I got this one in the fairy loot box and that was like, such an amazing box. I still can't get over how much good stuff was inside of it and I just really really loved it. And so yeah Yes, Nemesis is here and Nemesis is going to be an amazing kick-ass book which I know so many people are going to love. So there you guys have my book haul. It was bigger than I expected it to be but if you guys know me now, I, I have no self-control. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm sure my next book haul will hopefully be smaller. Oh shit, it's Christmas. There's no chance. I can assure you guys that my next book haul will probably be about the same size, maybe even bigger, because Christmas and my birthday is in that month, and oh my god, my birthday is in that month. Looks like I also have a terrible memory along with no self-control. Also, a uh, quick shout out to my number one fan, Cam-O. You know, if you guys go on Instagram, it's, it's Cam underscore O underscore, um, for being, you know, a very, very cool kid, and uh being my number one fan. You know, without him, where would I be? Not doing videos, because we all need that number one fan. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Until then, have a lovely bookish day, and hopefully great things happen to you. I am super excited to open this box, because I haven't had a tea in like the last three weeks.